Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode I went through the changes with Update 15 and explained what's happened. It didn't really alter the prison in any major way however I do want to prioritise getting some barbed wire on this wall because that could uh, prevent a lot of the blitz out attempts. We also need to eventually go around and place barbed wire along here but that's a future as problem. We also discovered a tunnel which we think is around here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to search the toilets in all of this area. Um, probably a bit overkill to search the lot but while we're on we might as well do that one and it just means I can just click the button and forget about it. Actually, not strictly the case because there's not 100% chance to finding a tunnel if you search the toilets, but uh, we know that it's probably going to be that one or that one. They, well, actually, we don't. We don't, in, in fact, know that because I'm assuming that they're tunneling down and across this way. Um, so it could be from over here for all I know. I mean, we've had the long tunnel as long that came all the way down this area here as well, so we'll see. Anyway, what I've also done is got some more prisoners. Um standard part of the course stuff however I do want to check to see what traits they have so we'll go over to informants and we'll see what we've got because we've got some unknown traits over here for Clegg and I really really do not want to see them having things like um, snitch or ex-law enforcement or something because that could cause us a lot of bother so they are getting brought over to here and we are uh, activating all of our inmates there and um, in fact where is where's that guy gone um, and why is the instigator currently wandering around working? I guess we haven't got him on permanent lockdown, have we? No one, we haven't. I thought I had. You, lockdown permanent, thank you very much. Right, I guess it's not really been a problem then, them being in there. Uh, so we'll go back over to our informants here, and we'll wait for people to be brought over. Um, where is that? Person with the unknown traits. Ah, oh, there we go. Straight away, ex-law enforcement. That's what we didn't let. Tim Clegg, prison number eight six zero nine one four one, sentenced to one years for dangerous driving, and they are ex-law enforcement. So we will go for a protective custody and a lockdown permanent, and we want to prioritise that. Come on, guys. I wonder if you now you can't prioritise that. You can you can't prioritise the building. It stays there working. And quite frankly, that's not the case. You will go to your new home and oh, don't say it's over here again. God. Why do we have to power by your budget singularity system? Ah, it calls for beverage, this thing. Mm. Today's beverage is a cup of tea, but quite frankly, it, could, it needs to be some sort of alcoholic one where this is going on. A power surge is kind of generate overload and catch fire. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aggressing to a 14 year old trying to do some insults. There's going to be a mam comment somewhere in here. Um, start insulting family members and such. It's just, oh, it's really, really annoying that one. Right, okay, let's just let's just try and dampen the flux capacitor with uh, water. Right, so we'll go to emergencies, we'll go for fire engines, we're going to go for lockdown. Actually, no, bang up. Everybody get back because we're going to have some problems. You guys, go in there, please. Just get off the trucks and run, run, run. It's not an explosion, right? It's not an explosion. So, I can, I can sort of you know, accept that. If it was a massive explosion that caught, you know, took out loads of things, then that might be an issue. So there we go. We're just gonna sort that out. What? 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 It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I also, I want the number of the contractor who built this thing because. I think Chernobyl has had less shutdowns and accidents than this place. And I think it's less volatile. We've had two of them now. Damage and burn. Just spray water everywhere. I guess that's the advantage, isn't it, when this thing always goes up. It's like, sir, we're surrounded by fire. Good, we can fire our water in every direction. <laughs> right, okay, come on, put the fire out. Um, I'll probably move them, I'll move some of them round to there. We've got a bit of a manual way of doing this. We need to prioritise the repairing of that one. It will be repaired and, oh no, actually we don't have the money again. Um, but anyway, there's that put out and we'll say thank you very much. You go back and um, we still have to worry about the tunnel which we haven't found yet. Going to be some danger level going up there. I'm going to um, turn bang up off because it's lock up anyway. 
Uh, first things first, prioritise that wall and that wall there and that wall there just to make sure it's all sealed back in and obviously we need to make sure that uh, we've got this on staff only. So that is still insecure but uh, we'll sort of pat it on the back and say no everything's fine, you, you are a good wall and uh, a decent room and then we'll be able to hopefully get this sorted quickly. I'm going to go down to our grants and apparently not increase our current bank loan. Our credit rating is zero. Huh. You can borrow a large lump sum from the bank. In return, the bank will charge you interest each day which you must pay out your cash flow. As you make regular payments, your credit rating will increase and the bank will allow you to borrow more. However, if you miss payments, your credit rating will be de uh, uh, decimated and the bank will refuse to lend you more when you need it. Ah. I'm guessing because we missed payments after we got that bank loan, we had, to be fair, we had so much problem, didn't we, originally? Um. Yeah, that's still a problem. Yeah, when we had this problem originally, we didn't pay off the loan, and that's why our credit rating's down to zero. Darn it. Could sell shares. I'm selling shares. <laughs> I can buy them back if need be. Um, so they're going to focus on repairing that, moving things around. You get the idea. Um, it also means that we now we really do have enough money to pretty much complete the entire thing. Obviously, I do need to uh, run the utilities again because they've been burnt off. So we'll connect that up like that, prioritise all of that, and then uh, they'll do that. Oh, they were prioritising the power station, but then for whatever reason decided that the flooring was better. I mean, I understand the foundations need to be solid, but uh, yeah. Um, you can see there's no load on that at all. That's because we haven't got this connection here. That one's now being connected, so half the prison should be done. That's fine. Then that one's done, and then there we are. We're now powered back up. Okay, so it is eat time. However, there won't be much to eat because it's not being prepared, so that's going to be a problem. Although this one will still be serving food. Yeah, that's fine. That's still okay. So, I want to... I want to dismantle these toilets here. So we'll do those three, and we'll see what we find out there. That was a that was a bit hectic that over there on the left hand side. Oh, there we go, there's the tunnel. And it is a connected a connected one. Yeah. I sort of get a bit of a twinge whenever I hear a clunk and then the warden start ringing. It's like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Please no. Like some sort of traumatic event. Okay, so get all these toilet put in, become a legitimate area, and we just need to double check. Maximum security, prisoners, 26, capacity 52. Oh, that just went down suddenly to, uh, 25. Why? Oh, they don't have line of sight, apparently. People have been suggesting ways to improve this line of sight. Um, and it's things like put uh, lights on the inside, which, to be fair, they have got lights. That's not the issue. Put lights outside. Um, there's loads of different ways of doing it. But I don't know um, what the deal is about that one. I've tried different things. It doesn't work. Um, Austin, iced tea drink. We've seen him before. Prison number 59530075. Overdosed. Dead overdosed. Um, we've not seen that um, when it's happened blindly like that. We've seen them um, OD and then move them, and then the, well, obviously we brought them to the to the medical centre, which quite frankly does need a bit of a clean. Um, but I do have six janitors already, but we'll hire a couple more. And yeah. That's the reason for that, is we just couldn't see it. We don't have line of sight there. Let's place a light on the outside, see if it does indeed fix anything. I have tried it before, but let's just try it once more. It means running lights again, which is annoying. Um, so have we got any death row coming? No, because we have to increase our max sec, probably. And if we go past there, no, it just doesn't work. 
the doors open and we don't get line of sight until we actually go in the th oh it's because it's not built anywhere let me let me see if it's built first uh, do we have line of sight in there then oh, we might do actually let's have a look it could be just because it was dark no we don't have line of sight so go in there there's your line of sight you come out. Yeah, so it's not it's not that. It's not that. Okay, dismantle. Fine. We had to try it. If it worked, then that would be good. It's just... You need to have it inside like this. Just how it has to be, I think. Just a quirk of the game. Okay, so we're going to go over to our... Um, quick build clone. And one, two, three, four. A lot of money, but doesn't matter. Obviously, deployment, that's set up. Want to go over to our programs. We're going to scroll down to Death Row Peel. We're going to start that. We're going to say one and then two. And we need to edit the schedule. There uh, we can see the parole hearing is not being placed where it should be. So Death Row Peel can go over there. Parole hearing can go to there. Death Row Peel can go to there. And then the parole hearing down to there. It's just the way it well, basically messes it up. Uh, there's another word of really saying it. It does just mess it up. Uh, if it's death row, parole death row, um, it just wants to put parole hearing in there. Don't know why. It just does it. So anyway, we've got that unloading. That's fine. What I want to do is I want to spend a hell of a lot of money. So barbed wire uh, will do this. I'm not a fan of... Hang on. Oh, you can rotate it. That's fine. Let me rotate it, right? Um... It would be nice if it was more like the place wall instead of objects, but it's not, so it isn't. Um, it just means that you can't sort of, you can click and drag. You just have to do it like that the way I've just done it. Um, to be fair, we could have made this perimeter wall. Um, that might be the that might be a better thing to do. Actually, let me cancel all of that and we'll make it perimeter wall first. How much is it going to cost, though? Quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money. But we are going to put double doors on this one. We're going to put another uh, road gate about here. Automatic door openers as well. And we'll put... Probably around there, we'll put the 10 grand emergency gate. So that's a lot of money we've just spent there. <laughs> but we did sell some of the shares. I don't really see any problem with that one. We don't plan on selling the prison to start another prison. We don't. We just haven't. Uh, we don't really do that. We don't go for that sort of thing. So the patrol around here is okay in terms of our guards and such. Do I need any more? That's okay. Dog handlers. One, two, three, four. I think we do need some more. Five, six. Yeah, you see, they're all heading off. And there we got some spare, that's fine. Obviously that's going to really decrease our cash flow. That isn't totally representative of what we're actually getting though, because that will fluctuate based on the workshop. It looks like our regime here, adding yard time, has solved some of the needs, which is good, I'm happy to say. That's fine. These are all connecting in there, that's good. And then we are going for the perimeter wall along there which ah that's what I wanted to test and indeed it does work um, so as you can see we've got the we've got the perimeter wall going in which I'm, I'm guessing still be it can still be climbed over it doesn't say it can't it was just really difficult to go under before so anyway I assume with the addition of the barbed wire um, it's, it is something that can be climbed over, it just takes longer. And the barbed wire obviously hurts them and slows it down as well. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to place the barbed wire on top of it. I was, I, I cancelled most of the barbed wire but some of it was placed and I was thinking, does it remove the barbed wire and then purse the wall or will it just overrule it and it's uh, just, just overwritten it which is fine. So yeah, um, we are now losing money technically, um, however a lot of that is to do with the amount of um, inmates that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you can see a lot of these inmates are 
around here. I want to shift them, and I want to shift them over to there. So I'm going to change that to medium sec, which is going to displace a couple of these prisoners. Only a couple, though, because, well, most of them were around here, and there was grading there. However, they're now going to get shifted over here. There will be one in here. There we go, because we do have a total of 25 maximum security. Um, but we've only got uh, a capacity of 24. So, there you go. What I will do, however, is I'll say building brick. And I'll do this. And then I will... Actually, can you clone the entire thing? Even... With the floor as well? Blocked? No, you can't. So you have to place the foundations. I, I thought that was the case, but... Quite frankly, I can't remember the last time I tried to do that. So always best to check. Um, what type of what type of door is that? I don't know. I really don't know what type of door is that. What did I put? I did I put solitary on there? I don't think I would have put a solitary door on there. Does it? What does a solitary door look like on the side? It looks different. Yeah, that that is the bar. That is the bar one. Okay. So, we'll go for quick build, clone. We've already got that selected. Once this is placed, we'll be fine. Any second now. Any second now. There we go. <laughs> and click. Override all of that. And obviously, want to go for... Max Echo only. So, we're going to receive 31 normal security prisoners. And you might be thinking, why is that? Well, originally, this was high risk. And we were only receiving low and normal, uh, low and medium risk. I prefer to call them uh, medium rather than normal. So, low and medium risk. Um, and because of that, this was just getting empty. It just it was emptying. Or rather, it was getting split between this and this, the high risk because we just weren't receiving any. Now that we've moved them all over, we've just got a huge area which we can just fill with fill with prisoners, which is exactly what's going to happen. So, um, make sure those are all set, because it would be problematic if it wasn't. We will run a cable down like so. We will also run some water pipes, um, like that. Obviously, these are slightly different to... Uh, to what the, was, was in there originally. Originally it went all the way down and such because we had uh, different we have uh, we had different cells in there. It was uh, actually six in total rather than the graded high risk. But this seems to be a better way of doing it. So we are going to receive prisoners. So intelligence informants and we'll see what we have. Obviously it's going to be 30 odd prisoners and one death row next as well. So 17 normal next and then uh, death row. So we've got uh, we've got some skilled fighters. We've got some historical quick, other things there. A lot of intake and traits that we might have to worry about, but that's that's a big intake. That's an extremely big intake. Hmm. Okay. So we'll max speed that out while they get brought to their cells. Just want to double check the deployment. That is fine over there. Still not powered up, but they will have cable running to it if I actually connected the cable. Uh, <laughs> I directly connected to the water pipe. Yes, I know the plumbing electricity. <laughs> right. Uh, just double checking all here. That's fine. That's access only. That's fine. This area here was originally for max sec only, and I changed it to anyone because. It meant that Super Max couldn't go in there. Not that that's a problem at the moment, because we don't have any Super Max prisoners. So it is currently work slash free time. We will go over to our informants and we will activate some of our informants. The problem we have is that some of them have left. Um, I guess you could you could call it a problem if you want, but it's just a you know fact that they've left the prison. Um, they've been released and. There hasn't been any major upsets and people being put in here, so we haven't uh, we haven't interrogated them. So we can see straight away um, we are starting to having a we're having a bit of a natter with Stephen Garner, and they've got some targeting around here, and we've also got this person here, which is Conrad the Varg, 
uh, Volkov, prison number 8819265, ex-military. And we are going to have them as protective custody with a permanent lockdown because obviously we want to protect them. Looking around here, we have an instigator, which we will do the same thing. We will say, actually, will we do the same thing? Um, yes, we will be fine on that one. We'll say you are now a protective custody and lockdown permanent. And just checking around the place. There are some traits. Extremely strong. Not entirely, extremely strong and stoked. I'm not entirely convinced that those should be there. I thought that would be more of a high risk level, but it's on the edge of that. That's fine. Okay. Okay. That'll be about it. The instigators, by the way, we will happily kick out of the protective custody if it's uh, if it's required. We don't have a guard patrol around here, actually. It would be decent to have that. There we go. So we'll do just that. Uh, we don't have anyone in these cells either. Right, so we will have to check. Um, I think I do want to put some CCTV around here, just so we've got... Always, we always have line of sight there, but instead what I'm going to do is have some CCTV and it's going to be placed at the front of, well, pretty much there, there, then, and along like so. Take, keep an eye on all that. We'll do the same over here and parole. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you can have eight in total, is it? Um thought it was it and I'm gonna put the CCTV monitor in here because we can certainly not gonna put the door control there um, but we'll put the CCTV in there and also I'll connect that up as well because I'm sick of that going on and off all the time <laughs> so there we are right uh, 36 grand more than enough to say building brick and whammy there we go we'll uh, set that going so we're speeding along now we're gonna place that jail down there Deployment's fine. Everything is fair. That security is okay. That's fine. That just goes into there. Although we could change that to uh, Supermax only. That would make sense. There we are. Uh, power should be fine. Just double check. Yes, it is. Although, once we've connected this up, we might have a bit of an issue. We're going to go to connections and we'll say connecting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, and it actually. connects that up that way does it ah and we can't remove it either if you press r it used to remove it but you have to remove it from what well, can you i thought you could remove it yeah it's just right click but it doesn't work that way it's right so in order to remove that from the cctv i could probably just click on it actually um which one is it connected to doesn't remove it darn it so it's just going to be always be connected to this one as well. I'll leave it then. I'll leave that. That'll be fine. So that's going to be that there. Um, and we've got people walking along there. We've got the door openers. That's going to be connected up shortly. That's been set over there. We definitely want to have the capacitors put in here. I don't think the capacitors place any electrical cable to the right bit, so I'll be able to place that fine. So there's still the execution area to do, and we are going to put some wooden flooring on that one. And next episode, we'll go ahead and build that. So, I think we'll crack on. Uh, well, we'll leave it there. Next episode, we'll crack on with the execution, because we are receiving... Oh, execution area, rather. We are receiving one death, pr death row prisoner tomorrow. We already have our um, we already have our prisoners. Um, well, the room's ready for the prisoners. We have death row parole or death row appeal, rather. All the security in place, so that's just ready for them to turn up. Just before I forget, actually, I'm just going to place the uh, other fridges here because I think it'll be worth it. Those won't all be powered up. That now will be powered up. That's
that's fine. And yeah, I think we'll, we'll leave it there. Not bad at all. Good progress. Next episode, we'll get the execution area up, and then we'll probably get this area done as well, and obviously we just, we'll just have to see how it goes. There's probably, would you probably another explosion over here, so yeah, we'll see how that one goes. I wonder if... Oh. And we've got another tunnel, so we'll have to deal with that as well. I wonder if to do with this running really high. It might be, you know. It might be some load balancing that we have to do. Um... It might be just that. Yeah, that's just occurred to me. So we could remove this from the grid, all of this connect up there. We'll do that. I think we'll do that, you know. We'll have the laundry machines on this one. Although we'll have to wait for them to be placed. Okay, we'll see how we go. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.